Hey, this is Drew Masnick here with a quick tutorial. What we're going to do here is a little bit of photo editing. Here's a picture of myself. It looks okay, but you know, it just doesn't look perfect. I, I mean, I've got a little bit of hair, flyaway hair over here, got some little spots in my face, some wrinkles. I mean, what, what's up with that? I'm not even 30 and I got spots in my face. That's not good enough. We're going to make this, you know, reality is, is too harsh. Uh, let's just go for a fantasy photo where I look way better than I actually do in real life. So, we're going to edit this thing in After Effects instead of Photoshop because, I mean, some of you out there, like myself, we know After Effects. I don't honestly don't know Photoshop that well, so uh, let's use After Effects. So, we're going to take the source here, drag it into a new composition. We're going to make the thing 16 bits per channel, and we're going to blend using 1.0 gamma. This just the way we're going to do this, we're going to work uh, in layers, like cut this thing into to layers, work on each layer separately, color correct each layer separately, and then combine it all into a final composition. And when we do that, it, uh, it's easier using 16 bits per channel because it, it prevents us from getting ugly color artifacts. So with our main composition, we're going to hit enter and call this composite. And take the source layer here, we're going to select the paint tool, or clone stamp, double click. And now we're in the paint mode. So we're going to go from paint, get our brushes here. I think nine, a soft, a nice soft bristle brush will work. I'm going to use the space bar to drag and move around here. Just going to select a source patch using Alt. And then we'll just start clone stamping out all the spots we don't want uh, with a, a patch of a skin patch. It looks kind of similar. Taking away all the skin imperfections here not worrying about the just worrying about the major stuff the, the minor stuff will take care of a little bit later uh, the key to getting rid of the, these tiny fine lines here is finding is I'll use a smaller brush I think five a soft five brush will work finding a, 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 we're, we're going to flatten the look here so it looks like we have a little crevice down here a little bit darker area we're looking basically to make the skin a more even color. That looks a little bit better. There we go. Helps to flatten the face out a little bit. Um, yeah, I got a couple spots here. Let's fix. And yeah, I got some lines near the eyes. Uh, the key here is to select a source spot that has the, basically the same color as the line in the eyes. So let's select, select a source where you don't have a line and just even out, even out the tone here. So we can uh, pretend that I don't actually have any lines under my eyes. Um, as long as you don't get too carried away. That's the key. This has to look uh, reasonably, reasonably convincing. So we can't go too far with this. Uh, so it looks like we got some flyaway hair here. Let's use a lar larger brush. And the hair work. This is this is a little bit easier. Got some flyaway hair here. So select the source out here. Hit Alt again. Select the source. And we'll just sort of cut off some of the flyaway hair. Not not too evenly, or it will look obviously photoshopped. Uh, which we don't want it, uh, it to look like that because we're using After Effects for one. And um, uh, So yeah, slight, yeah, slight improvement there. After that, yeah, it looks good enough for a quick, quick paint job. Over here, we go to um, get our effects controls, see out the paint. Uh, just remove the basic marks from my face. Okay, let me drag that into here. All right, now we have more space. All right, done with that. Back to our composition our composite composition. So we're going to take the layer here and we are going to pre-compose. I'm going to call this layer Paint and move all the attributes into a new composition. Okay, so now we're back in our composite here. 
at paint, I'm going to duplicate this layer. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start separating the elements here. Oh, sorry about that. All right. We're going to uh, first select the skin. We're going to separate the skin. And you know what? Let me duplicate that again because we're going to separate the eyes. We're going to work on the eyes separately. So the eyes and the skin uh, are all going to be, in and then the background are all going to be separate layers. So we can color correct each one separately. So this one we're going to call, uh, hit, sorry about that, rename it. This thing is going to be our skin layer, and this, we're going to rename it our eyes. So for the skin layer, what we're going to do is take this, um, go to Effect, Keying, Key Light, and use this thing. Uh, let's see my skin color. Uh, what's a basic sample of my skin color? Probably like something pretty red. Uh, maybe on my nose. There, that's about right. And we'll go to Screen Mat. Oh wait, yeah, there we go. So, uh, looks like we have a pretty good mat here. We've got the skin. Uh, we just have to adjust this a little bit. Balance, screen gain. Here we go. Let's clip the white down a little bit. Just basically going to sep separate out the layers. Okay, now we've selected everything but the skin, so we can invert that uh, later on. So let me take the skin here. Let's pre-compose into the skin, moving all attributes into the new composition. So here we are in the skin composition. Let me edit and duplicate this. And let's say for the background here, let me kill key light. Let me take key light off. So this is our mat. We're going to take the skin here. Our track mat is going to be a Luma inverted mat of skin 2. So there we go. We've got just the skin, which is what we want. So back into our composite layer, we have just the skin here. And what I'm going to do is blur it slightly. So we're going to do an effect, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. I'm going to blur it to maybe, let's see, point. Six. Eh, let's make it point eight, just to make it more obvious. So now we have the blurred skin. As you can see, it's not it's not huge, but we've blurred away some of the imperfections in the skin. And now let's go to transform and turn the opacity to maybe seventy percent. That way, a little bit of the skin detail is left, but. We still have a, the blur to take out most of the, most of the smaller wrinkles in the face. So the next thing we're going to do is color correct the skin because eh, I just feel like it's a little bit too red. So we're going to go to Effect. We'll go to Color Correction, and we'll go to Curves. So we've got channels of the RGB curves. Mm. I'm going to take some of the, the color out of my some of the red. So we'll take a little bit a little bit of the red out. And take a little bit of the green out too. A little bit of the green. Uh, I don't want to take like the green. Uh, that's too. Oof. You see how you have to kind of adjust the stuff to taste there. Uh, that looks a little yellowy, a little bit greenish. Go to effect color correction and then we'll do hue saturation sort of pull the saturation out and makes it like a little bit lighter too so we have hmm, slightly lighter skin uh, I, I'm still not liking the yellowness so We'll take the red down by a little less. So there we go. We have a pretty good skin tone, as you can see from before and after. 
And again, you can adjust this a little bit more to taste. If you think it looks maybe too yellow, you can sort of pull a little bit more of the saturation out. And the last thing we're going to do is change the eyes. Again, if you're, I mean, I'm not going to adjust the teeth very much, but if your teeth are too yellow, you can select that separately and adjust the color separately. So let's go into the, uh, take the, uh, into the eyes layer here, and we're going to create a, just a mask, masking just around the eyes. So. And the other eye. Take the masks, uh, take the feather. I want it to be maybe, how about a pixel, one pixel for both masks. So the next thing we're gonna, get, we're gonna do is select, skin select eyes. So we have the eyes layer, layer, and then pre-compose. Moving everything into the new composition. This is the new eyes composition. So now we're going to adjust this to taste, but how do you see what's going on in the eye, in the whole picture when all you have is the eyes composition? Well, that's easy enough to do. We'll hit the composite, hit the lock thing here. So we're looking at the whole composite when we adjust the eyes. So now when we go to the eyes here, we can adjust them and see how they affect the entire picture. So what I want to do is go to color correction, probably do curves and Probably brightness and let's do hue and saturation as well. The eyes, uh, they look okay. Let's see what happens if we kill the saturation out of them. They look a little bit more gray. Actually, they look more blue relative to my skin. Also, if we want, we can sort of take them in their original color, boost them, or we can take the hue and mess with it. So you want like green eyes. You want, oh, we can take, we can take a sparkling blue here. Adjust the, usually it helps to adjust the lightness. It makes you look younger, but maybe not that much. Or we could just take the curves here. Pull the curves up just a tad. Make you look, the, the brighter eyes make you look a little bit younger. So, the curve, um, I think that looks pretty good. So, I guess we're done with this tutorial. In the composite we have sort of, let me show the original new composition here. Come on. Here we go. We got uh, the reality and we have the fantasy picture right here. And fantasy is definitely better than reality. And for some of you, if you want uh, like a quick gift idea for your parents, take a, a, a recent photo of your parents, one that's pretty good, maybe your mom or dad, especially your mom. Uh, and then just, just like uh, airbrush all the wrinkles off her face. You can use this like photo trick to make her look a little bit younger and give it as a present. Usually, uh, uh, often she'll appreciate it. So that's it. This is Drew signing out.